Wow. The English Lake District, renowned across the world. It's a tale of man and landscape as the centuries unfurled. It's where farming shaped the landscape and where landscape shapes our lives. It's now honored by UNESCO with a badge we'll wear with pride. It's ideas born around here that have grown and touched us all, from the vision and decisions made between these dry stone walls. It's so many countries worldwide, national trusts and national parks, knowing this place as their birthplace, knowing this is where it starts. Yes, it's walking. It's stillness. Yes, it's talking. chilling but it's thrilling it's a riot it's a rush yes it's unique yes it's boutique yes it's gardens and it's spas yes it's mint cake then it's more cake then it's restaurants and bars yes it's whining and fine dining yes it's shopping in the towns in the places the main bases where there's faces all around yes it's day trips yes it's boat trips yes it's ice creams by the shore but there's reasons in all seasons that it's so much so much more if you've ever found yourself here, call it home or call it bliss. If you've ever wandered lonely as a cloud here, you'll know this. It's the dew on morning meadows. It's the moonlit starry nights. It's the blues, the greens, the greys, the greens, the blacks, the greens, the whites. It's the eloquence, the elegance, these elements combine to paint this portrait of a landscape that defines divine design. And it's the becks, and it's the crags, and it's the tarns, and it's the mears. It's feeling glorious, victorious, that summit as it nears. And when the skyline meets our eyeline, we've a lifetime of delight. It's worth the blisters for the vistas, Mr. Wainwright, had it right. And when the cloud parts on our proud hearts, then our spirits rise and shine. And when the rain shows us her rainbows, then our pain goes. Every time. So it's inspired romantic poets, countless books upon the shelf. It's the muse of famous artists. It's a work of art itself. It's a masterpiece evolving. It's a symphony of sights. It's a ballet, it's an opera, it's a poem made of light. It's a novel, it's a sonnet, it's a fairy tale with wings. It is Mother Nature's chorus with man joining in to sing. It's a never-ending story. It's an epic etched in stone. It's a myth inside a legend, inside flesh and blood and bone. It's the laughter of the children. It's the rambler's romance. It's the love affair of leaves and air, and this is where they dance. It's a wonder made of thunder. It's a mystery in the mist. And when water fell in love with sunshine, this is where they kissed. It's what we find within ourselves, between these lakes and peaks. And it's what is formed between us all when Mother Nature speaks. In its emptiness, fulfillment. How its parts can make us whole. Beneath its skies, we realize the prize that lies inside our souls. It's the vital pulse inside us. It's the very breath it takes. It's the light it shines on life itself, reflecting on these lakes. So come with hopes and come with dreams and come with family and friends. Leave with memories, precious memories. And love that never ends.